Here we are in uh, my kitchen and I'm going to have a go at making some sourdough. Um, actually, it, it, it's the sourdough recipe, but it doesn't always work out like that. Sourdough, um, the one I ate the other day from a shop, bakery, was in incredibly sour, but it was, it was lovely. But um, mine turns out a bit different, but it's still quite a nice loaf. The interesting thing I'm going to do is add some of this pulp powder. It's um, coconut flour. And you have to replace the coconut flour 30 grams to 120 of normal flour. So you deduct 120 and add 30 of that. So the recipe is 350 grams of um, strong white flour, which is, I'm using this, um, I'm using that. Um, so 350 of that, um, I deduct 120, which is 230, and then add uh, 30 grams of the coconut flour. But I also have to ha add um, for for the recipe, I have to add a pool, which is a starter, which is this. I made this two days ago. Um, and what you do is you use 250 uh, millilitres of this, the starter. It, that, it that has got a sour type smell to it, it has. That's been in the fridge yesterday, I put it in the fridge yesterday, but it's, it's to over two days old now, so that should be okay. So I add that along with some uh, uh, um, some water to this. So I've got to take out 250 grams of this, and it's on, at the moment, it's on nearly 400. So um, I need, I'll need a jug to pour 250 grams into, and then I'll add the water. So here we are, I've done that to, um, I said grams, it's actually 250 millilitres. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 175 um, millilitres of um, tepid water, that's not hot, not cold. And I've got some here, so I'm just going to do it down here on the table. And hope that's right, um, that's, that is, um, difficult to get it level, isn't it? That's 100 of either too much. 100, 150, oh, just a little bit, I think it's almost there, 150. I'm gonna leave it, that's almost 175. So that's ready to add. Okay, this is the fun part. I have a teaspoon. I have some dry yeast and salt. I've got the preparation ready here to mix in. And what we do is we add one teaspoonful of um, dry yeast. Now on the te on the uh, on the on the tea, uh, on the YouTube with Bertinet, French man, he has natural yeast and he mixes it in with his fingers like this. But I don't see, you know, I'm not sure that this makes that much difference. So I'm going to sort of I'm putting my fingers in there and doing it like he does it. Oh, it is going a bit. It is going into sort of a little balls. So I'm going to do. I'm just going to do that for the rest of it, see if I can get it all to mix in. This doesn't look like a lot of dough, a lot of um, uh, flour to me. Hey ho, there we are. So, and we need one, one, one to one and a half teaspoonfuls of, uh, I'm rubbing that actually, I, I think that might, might be better. I have had some 
I've had one success with it, and it was the last one, so I thought I'd make a video of it, now it works. Well, who knows. Right, that's that one. And then a, tea, a teaspoonful of salt. And all you purists that know how to do this are gonna say, say to yourselves, that's not how you do it. Right, now that's, that's all mixed in. Ready to go. And now what we do is we get these things out of the way. And we add the liquid. I have I have incidentally uh, an English cup of tea here. Because once I start, it gets all sticky and he says don't use any flour on on this surface because you're adding flour. It just doesn't look enough, does it? How much did I put in there? I think what it says, it's gonna be a small loaf. I did a small loaf the other day, so it's gonna be quite a small loaf. Tea's done. All right, here we go. I, I suppose I, if I did it, my left hand, you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, I remember. What he did, what he does, is he uses um, a plastic piece of plastic. I'll put it in the drawer. Here it is. It's an old credit card that I keep in the cold, of course. It's plastic, wait, wait, plastic, plastic credit card. And he does this. Mixes it like this. Oh wow, look at that. You wait till you see the slapping bit, you'll like that. Huh? Oh, he does it so professionally, he's doing it. Bertine, his name is, he's in Bath. Richard Bertine, you have to meet him. Well, wow. he's a bit of a character, and he's English, he's atrocious. But, understandable. Okay, and then you can, that's it, you can get your hands in there. It's not sticky yet. I haven't used all the water yet. These, this idea, I've used this before. I did it a few years ago, and then, um, like everything, you sort of stop doing things. Right, here we go. A bit more, oh, I'm enjoying this. It's just something about dough, putty, uh, putty, not putty, uh, clay, that makes it so good for you. It's therapeutic, unless you're one of those people, like my son-in-law, who has to wear gloves for everything, especially if he goes anywhere near the garden. I'll, I'll put it all in now. And there's some, there we go. There's seeds in there as well, where it is really sticky now. Which is okay, he said, because that's what happens. It's meant to be sticky. So I'm told. So, can you see how sticky it is? We need a bit of background music here, don't we? Maybe we can put that on after. Oh, this is yucky sticky. <laughs> I should have rolled my sleeves up. There we go. Oh, that is brilliant. And apparently, well, apparently, eventually, um, it hopefully loses its stickiness. I might have to just, in a minute, when I've, it, it, look, it's going already. Oh, that's magic. Oh. Therapy. Therapy, this is. Well, I'm gonna rinse my hands. 
but because I want to, I am going to use this to scrape it. all the flour onto the mass, the big bit. Look at that. My word. And there doesn't seem to be anything in uh, England we knock back after we let it, we let it ride for a couple of hours in a warm environment and then we knock it this is just the right texture then we knock it back I should send this to him see if I get a three stars or five stars or whatever right I'm going to keep that there move the bowl over there now, what he says, move these things out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. He says you put your hands fingers under it like this. Let's, let's get it into a ball-ish shape. There's no, there's no flour on there at all. It's getting stiffer. It's just, you get your hands under there. Under there. And you flatten it. It's a bit soft. Maybe it needs a bit more working. No, it's too soft. When it gets a bit harder, Can do it. I'm not an expert, as you can see, by any means. I think it's getting there. And then you pull this out and flip it over, leave, lean over. Then you put your hands under again and you, and then you pull this out and drop it down. It's a bit, there we go. Pull it out. Whoops, there's a bit on the floor there. We won't use that. Turned it 90 degrees and just a little. He managed, he managed to make his really sort of shiny all over across the top, so I don't know how many hours he did it for. I read a comment on, um, I read a comment on on, on the uh, YouTube where somebody said they've been doing it for an hour and nothing happened. <laughs>
squeezing these bits. Never get no <laughs> how he gets to get it off of his fingers with this, I suppose. I think it's getting there, it's almost. I didn't worry too much. I couldn't get exactly this. You can't expect to, somebody's been doing it years, can't expect to, it to be the same. But this is looks quite small. <coughs> but hopefully it will um, bubble in size. It did last time, so I'm really, I was pleased about that. this I did I put it in a bowl last time and it it came up to here and um it came up to there and um getting it out made it go flat and I want to uh, they say don't knock it back well I think he doesn't knock it back for the second time so what I'm gonna do I'm, going, I'm not going to put it in the bowl. I'm going to put it on a, a, a on something that's going to go into the um, cooker with. Oh, this. that onto there.
see this is one of the hard bits. Okay, 